play around. Music. I close both blinds and turn away. Um, I think really the idea was to make music that we hadn't really heard before on the radio. Um, I mean, there were there were like kind of hints to it, you know, with like Chili Peppers and um, you know the the whole Anthrax, Public Enemy mix and uh, Run DMC, Aerosmith kind of touched on it, but uh, those were really, with the exception of Chili Peppers in that example, um, those were really like kind of like one-off things, you know, like they do like one song together, you know, the Beastie Boys kind of threw some rock elements in their in their music, but it wasn't really like there were bands that were like specifically creating music that really mixed uh, hip hop and electronic music and rock music in a way that kind of de that kind of defined their sound. Um, so for us that was kind of like we wanted we liked that so we wanted to hear more of that so we kind of that's that's where we were going in the beginning. You know? Sometimes solutions are so simple. Yeah, I think one of the, the great things about our band is that everybody in the band has a, a different uh, favorite type of music, and that that is really helpful in the studio when all of us come together, and I think that's what really gives us a unique sound. Um, when we first started off, Mike and Joe were definitely more into the hip-hop stuff, and uh, Chester and I, were, we, we, you could probably say we were more into, into rock music, and um, I know that I got more into listening to hip-hop after writing music with Mike and, and Joe and listening and, and ask, ask, asking them about a lot of the hip-hop that they listen to. So um, I think that definitely if um, you were to ask everyone in our band what their favorite music is, I think it would be, they would, have, they would name off different bands and uh, that definitely helps us in the studio and, and when you mix it all together you get something completely unique. Um, well, I was actually heavily influenced by funk and R&B music when I first started playing drums. I found a bunch of uh, records in my parents' collection and listened to uh, James Brown, Earth, Wind & Fire, Tower of Power, and was really intrigued with all of the drumming. Um, a lot of hip-hop loops that you hear are, are derived from, from a lot of that music, so I got really into studying that, and then after that got more into uh, rock music. And But, but I think that having that um, funk R&B influence has definitely been a backbone in my drumming up in you know up until today I think I think when we were writing music it's not really like okay are we going to make a hip hop track or are we going to make like a a rock track um it's even when we're like whether Rob's coming in and laying a beat down um usually you kind all of us kind of just go off what we're feeling with the song um, in the beginning, and sometimes if that, if it's not really working out, you know, maybe that's when we'll come in and like program a beat, like, you know, um, if we're playing like a, a more straightforward, mellow kind of like, um, you know, pop rock song, uh, but it kind of feels like it's lingering around a little bit, you know, Mike might stay late in the studio one night and just throw like a crazy like hip hop style beat on it, and all of a sudden it takes the song into a whole new direction, um, so. We kind of just leave the leave it open when we're writing. We don't really sit down and go, okay, we're gonna today we're gonna write rock songs, you know. Tomorrow we're gonna write hip hop songs. It's um, we kind of just kind of just let the music come to us to a certain degree. <laughs> 